Okay, here we are starting off just where the last video stopped. First thing I want to do is take these perks. We're going to add one to intelligence and then add a focus point to intelligence. We're going to give her her 200 skill perk in archery. She's never going to recruit anything, so I don't care about that. And she's not going to be a governor. She could be, but not anytime soon. So, plus 10 bonus experience to range troops in your party after every battle. That's okay. 10% starting battle morale. Well, I would rather this one because I'd rather... The she's never going to be alone. She's always going to be in my party. So, the party's going to go off of my morale. Morale will not help her at all. Okay, let's carry on to Amprella. See if we can make it as we recuperate and then we should be close enough yeah we're going to run up to the sturgeon towns i got another level here another all right medicine i'll never be governor so all right 20 percent influence game i'm not going to donate troops i don't care about the influence for donating so i'll just take this it's neither one of them were good in my opinion but i'll take this one anyway save us a little money i suppose Let's see if there's anything I can recruit that says Sturgeon on it. Well, everything we lost was infantry. So obviously the only thing we have to replenish is infantry. Let's upgrade all these. 43, 49. Yeah, we're definitely going for Axemen. And if there is any infantry, we'll take both of them. And we'll run up. Let's sell what's or ransom what's left, except for her. I want to hold on to her as long as possible. And that recruit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me look at this again because I had thought that I had already locked all, all the sturgeons. But again, I, I may be getting my other game confused with this game since I'm playing sturgeon in both of them. Make sure that I lock everything that is a troop that I want to use before I click sell or ransom. Let's do this again. Okay, nothing here says Sturgeon. All right, that's 6,700. And while I'm thinking about it, let's lock her. And let's sell. After we kill the animals. And I'm, I'm going to stop hoarding. No, I'm going to keep hoarding the heart, the resources that workshops could potentially use. Of course, oh, look at that. And it's lighter, much lighter. Yes, yes, we'll take that. 18 and 23 for a legendary, legionary, reinforced studded harness. Boom. That battle loot is good at times. And I'm going to take this because it's lighter. Same protection, but it's lighter. I like it. Even though I'm on a horse at times. For example, let's say a siege. I'll be on foot. I want to be as light as possible. Or if they kill my horse. I want to be able to move. Well, you know, I'm wearing very heavy armor, but every little bit helps. All right, nothing for me there. Nothing for her. She can have this. Usually any foot armor or arm armor, that's or, um, hand armor that's over 30 is worth keeping because it's going to be good. So 30 is the magic number for me. If it is hand or foot armor and it's over 30, chances are I'm going to want to keep it. And if, the only thing that comes in those that with those stats is going to be the lordly, the reinforced, or the masterwork. Or the legendary. Because nothing in the base, you know, none of the stuff you can buy, oh no, they don't have enough money. None of the stuff you can buy normally is going to gonna have those type of stats. Alright, well let's do this again then. Where is that thing? Right there. I want to lock that, put that on her. No, I don't want to put that on her. I want to put that on me. Let's do this again. 14 and 9, 12 and 9, 18 and 23, 14 and 11. That's what she was wearing. 
go back to me and put that on me. And it seems like those boots that were 32 were lighter. They're right there. And that was the only thing that I could use. So let's go back to her and make sure that I did. All right, she can have those boots. Yeah, that's it. Now, let's click OK and go back and see if I can sell all this stuff without going in the hole. Nope. So we'll have to look at these weapons. Leather bound shield. I think I can sell all this without going in the hole. Yes. And let's see if I can. 15,000. Let me click OK. So that if we have to back out, we don't back all the way out. And there's nothing here that I consider worth keeping. Let's see if we can get it all sold. I can live with 3,000 in the hole. All right. I want to wait here just long enough to get these troops back to full health. That way they don't slow us down. And then we're going to run north. Try to get... Twenty troops, all infantry. We only got to go about this far towards TL. I tell you what. All right. Take all these recruits. Probably take all the recruits from this place. Ooh. Actually, I'll hold off. TL might have some infantry that's higher tier. If not, I'll just come back and pick those up if need be. Nope, they don't have any. All right, so we'll just take up to 167 of these. And check this tournament out while we're here. Don't want it. Let's, let's sell what we couldn't sell. In the hole by six grand. I'm just going to accept that. Okay. We still got 32,000 out of it. Now let's run back to Olek if we can get back to him. I think it looks like he's coming. He's leaving the again. I don't, I don't know where he's going. I don't know if they engaged in another battle. He's got a lot of loot to sell. What the deal is. Either way, for anything, yeah, he's going to make... I call this make B. It's probably Makeb, but it's funny to me to say make B, so I call that make B. Uh, he's probably going there to sell. No, he didn't go in there. Where is he going? He's going to Mazin. Why? Oh, he's recruiting. Okay, so he's running around with a party of 473, 10 lords in his party, tying them up recruiting. What's Ragnvad doing? Oh, you know what? Mm, I'm very stupid. Mm, let me look at my forces. I realize we just got 20 recruits. We have 22 recruits. I may not want to do that. I was seriously considered jumping Viviana. But <clears throat> I don't know. Let's see if we can get around behind. All right. Now, this 45 is about to jump these. Okay. They're going to have the debuff, the speed debuff. So I should be able to run them down. Yep. It's been a while. I'll definitely take this. Even though it's going to be a village battle. I don't like that. But any battle is better than no battle. And again, I want to make sure there's nothing here. And that I've got the right loadout. Let's do it. Okay. Now, I don't know. You know, when you fight in the village, the villagers are always run at you. Because they're defending their village. I don't know what this lord is going to do, though. I don't know if he's going to run at us or he's going to turtle up there. Let's see. 
Yeah, they're staying up there. All right, so we're going to have to go to them. All right, everybody stop firing. And let's get up here. All horse, run over there. I really look forward to the day I can replace this shield. I just do not like the look of it. Infantry! They're just going to have to get up there. We want the archers to come over here and the horse to go over there. Good hit, buddy. Good hit. Fair play. Alright, archers fire. Point in this direction. Where are you facing there, guys? Face that direction. And throw your axes. Okay, due to the layout of this the battlefield right now, I'm I'm gonna see if we can hold out a little bit longer and then let them charge us when they get tired of taking arrow fire. Cause this is terrible. It's a terrible layout to have to go around those walls the way they're laid out there. I don't want to break my forces up like that right at the moment. All right, there they come. All right, now we'll spread out and charge. This guy's starting to annoy me. This means I'm going to harpoon him if he ain't careful. Uh, uh, uh. Looks like the archer's got him. All right, we lost... A recruit, which is fine. I got that perk in tactics finally, and I'm one away from the perk in medicine. Even though you were annoying the heck out of me, I'm going to let you go because you were stupid enough to get cap uh, captured. So I definitely want you back out on the battlefield with your stupidity. I want some axemen. Even though we only lost one unit, we also gained the ability to have one more unit, so we're down by two. And I want to increase party size, so now we're down by 12. <clears throat> we're going to run back up towards Joe Guri's castle because I, I just, it seems like that's where, okay, what can I recruit here? I want to take this recruit, and the only other infantry I got is this heavy spearman. I still got 19 recruits though. You know, I'm going to I'm going to throw the dice and see if we can engage this guy. If you please. Oh, excuse me. Back. This woman. I would ask for your name. My name is Hans, and you know that we're at war, so surrender or die. All right? Here we go. Again, making sure all the perks are up and that I've got the correct loadout. Let's, let's see what happens. All right. This is... Okay. I'm familiar, I'm familiar with this battlefield. So what we're going to do is we're going to... As soon as I click OK, we're going to try to run up here to this depression with the infantry as low as possible, with the archers higher... Unless they continue to hold right over here. And if they do, then we'll march up to them. But for now, we want to move Soldiers! as quickly as we can to this little depression, this hole in the ground. Woodman! Right here. Forward! With the Bowman! archers right Forward! here. Cavalry! Horse move! over there. Actually, cavalry! horse over here. There's move! more of their cavalry on their left flank. Okay, they're holding... They're actually running away. So we're going to just keep moving in. Footmen! Forge move! T 
tell you what, it's 11.40 before at night, and even though I'm playing this game, I'm thinking about pizza. All right, come on, Infantry, keep coming. You're going to have to come all move. the way up here. Now, horse, Horsemen, go over there. Move. They've got 42 archers, and they're just going to keep backing up that hill, I'm pretty sure, because this they're timid. I don't want to get too far ahead of my troops. If I get too close to them, that'll trigger their cavalry to charge at us. Nine times out of ten, it's a fake charge. They'll turn around at the last moment. But I want to make sure I try to time this so that everything works properly. I don't want to have to send my cavalry in before I'm ready. And yep, they're going to back all the way up to the edge of the map. The good news is they don't have any... This is it. What we see is there's not going to be any reinforcements. So I don't have to worry about reinforcements spawning behind us. They only had 212 troops to start with. And they're all on the map, 212. Of course, we've got all 168. So that's everything. And... As I showed at the beginning, my settings are at max, so that we can have a max of 1,000 troops here, so it would be 500 and 500. We're good to go. No reinforcements. Infection Just come on in. Now, how do I want to play this? Let's see. The angle. Yeah, I don't like the angle they're at here, so we're going to send Horsemen, the cav. No, guys, everyone. I want you to stop firing. Infection. I want you to come up right here, and I want the archers over there. I'm going to rely on our infantry to hold forward. their cavalry. Infantry, and I want our archers to come over here. Move. All right, shield wall. And fire. And fire. All right, now, fire. Cav, go after that 10. All right, guys. Turn a little bit to your left. There you go. Mm. All right. Walk into him. Continue on. Get in there. You're the backbone. Come on. There you go. Once they're fully engaged, split and charge. All right, now now we want the archers up here. And let me come at these from the side. Oh, wait a minute. There's the leader of the enemy. Let me see what I can do about that. Apparently nothing. She's taking three hits. Well, she finally went down. All right, they're running. Everybody charge. Specifically, I want you horses to go for the archers. I really detest archers. <laughs> I know how deadly they can be because I, I use them myself. And most of my playthroughs. They're just... And when I'm facing them, I find them so annoying. They just run away so fast. I can never run them down properly. Oh, again, I've mentioned how those height differences, the terrain height differences, always throw my aiming off. All right, what did we lose? We lost about four. One, two, three, four. All infantry, okay, easy to replace. I got three in medicine, and she got another in... Archery. Very good. Tristiana, Hungaroos. I'm going to let you go. Nifon. You can go. Viviana. She was the one that I spoke to, right? The leader of that party? Or that army? I didn't realize that was an army of three different lords. I thought it was just one lord. 
All right, again. Upgrade everything. And I did get that perk that increased my number of troops by 10, so we're down quite a lot here. Put her right at the top so I can see her. And we can only take about 51 prisoners, so let's just take the highest rated one. Ones. Make sure there's nothing. Okay, we can drop those five recruits. Take five of those. And there will be nothing else. It's just T1, so we're good. We're going to continue north to Amprella. Oh, it's being sieged. Well, scratch that. We're going to Mysia. <clears throat> and Mysia was being sieged earlier, but obviously it, it withstood the siege. I don't know who the northern empires at war with. Let me look, because I am curious. All right, there were... Oh, wow. Don't tell me that the Valandians have come already... This has got to be, it's got to be Northern Empire sieging Amprella and this castle to get it back because those are Empire holdings normally. But I don't know that Valandia is going to come all the way over here. I guess Northern Empire goes all the way up to, wow. Okay, well, I guess Valandia will be doing some damage. Try not to get. I try not to lose sight of what's going on on the map. That's why occasionally you'll see me check that. All right, fifty percent chance of troops getting wounded instead of getting killed during siege. Now I like that, and I'm going to take that. I don't care about horses. Horses are easy to replenish, in my opinion. So I don't care about them. But troops are far more important because your average troop doesn't use a horse in battle. And I just don't care about it. All right, let's ransom. Well, let's see what first. Let's see if there's any that I can. No, I need infantry, and there I don't even think there was any infantry. I don't have any infantry to recruit. All right, that's 3,400, and what can we get for cells? After we've killed the animals? Nothing to sell? I don't know why I'm... Oh, I remember now. They'll pay 21 for leather... I'm sorry, they'll pay one. I bought it, if memory serves, I bought it at 109. So I don't care. I'm just going to sell it, even if it's at a loss. I want to get rid of it because I don't want to be carrying it around. That adds to my, me being overburdened. Nothing legendary or... Nothing worthwhile, legendary, or masterwork. I don't know if, let's see if we can sell it all. Nothing here looks interesting. And long fine stuff. Nothing here looks interesting either. We'll get rid of it all. All right, now I have an opportunity to sell some grain and drop my overburden amount. We'll also sell some fish. I don't want to be that overburdened. And we'll sell some meat because we get meat every battle. Whether it's a village or an AI lord, they always have animals. I won't say always, but they typically have animals, so I'm not worried about getting meat. And that's 37, 37,000 dinars. And we're almost, we're almost at the stage where I can actually get, I, will, I remember fighting you earlier, bud. And taking you early. Wait, can we catch him? Yeah. Why can we catch him? And he's got so few troops. I don't know, but we did. We're at war. I'll take you for the second time. Make sure I have no perks. The reason I keep checking this, some people may be, you know, the three people, if that, that are watching this, may be triggered. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, you only get a notice when you actually gain a... Uh, a perk but you can gain a skill level and just have a focus point and it won't show up there's no indication when you get a focus point you only get notices when you get a perk so that's why i check this so often because there's good chance not a good chance but there's a possibility that one there could be a, a focus point up here that needs to be used and you won't get any notice for it all right and i do have the correct loadout let's attack his 35 troops this really doesn't matter so much, so let's just 
I don't like this battlefield. It's been a long time since I've had this battlefield. He's got five horse. Let's go ahead and move the cavalry up there. Yeah, they're running right up into the woods, up to high ground, and that's where they'll huddle. I wish I could identify that bird by the sound it's making, but I cannot. All right, Cavalry. Cav, go on Forward. up since they're moving up and to the left away from you. I've been, <clears throat> I bought a game several years ago called Subsistence, and it was billed as a survival Forward. game. And it's not a bad game, but it's, it's one man developer. And he's slowly but surely turning it into a first-person shooter. Which means I play it a lot less these days, but I was playing it earlier and just admiring the views in the game. It's not, not a bad game, but it's it's not exactly subsistence. When you think of what that word implies. Alright, cavalry. Let's let's go ahead and charge. There's only there's so few troops. Infantry move on in. Archers. Infantry, shield wall, and fire at will. There we go. All right, the infantry is going to hit them from the side. Come on up here, archers. No, not attack. Move up here. I'm not telling you to attack. Move up here. I don't know why it does that sometimes. That just annoys the heck out of me. All right, now that they're broke apart, we're going to charge in. See if I can hit that horse for 139. All right. If anyone can, if anyone happens to see this and knows why, when I'm looking away from the enemy and pointing in the opposite direction of the enemy and cl clearly clicking on the ground, it's telling me that I'm telling them to target the enemy. I'd like to know if you know why, because that does annoy me. All right, I got one in tactics, and we lost nothing. We got 1.8 morale, 1357 gold, and I'm going to let you go again. I'm pretty sure I let you go the last time we fought. Do some upgrades here. Again, we want the Axeman because we didn't have hardly any just a few battles ago. All right, we're going to head up, keep going north to Sturgeon Land because I think we're about 14 troops under strength right now. And Amprella is no longer being sieged, so I can stop there to ransom and sell and then continue up to what happened. Why did you stop moving? Lucan of the, all right. Lucan of Northern Empire grants Amprella. All right, so apparently Amprella was sieged. That's right, because it was owned by the Kuzates. That's why it happened. It was just granted to a lord in the uh, Northern Empire. That's okay. I still want to ransom the forces here. And since we're here, we might as well check out that tournament. I'll take that 530. Yeah, every little bit helps. Nothing here other than that harness. Lordly. All right, I see a, this. I see this particular helmet more than anything. I think when I'm fighting the Empire, it's not particularly good, but it's lordly. But I do recall seeing it very often. Twelve and fifteen. Nope. More or less all garbage. Just to make sure. Yeah, and let's look at this V inside of things since. This thing says legendary, and we will take that because it is lighter and better armor. I like that. I actually like the way it looks better also. All right. 
I don't think there's going to be anything here for her. Nope. All right, we'll sell that stuff. Sell all of this and sell that hatchet. And I want to make sure that there is no... What have we got? Plus three variety. Let's see if there's a variety of food we can buy here now. So we've got fish and grain and butter. We've got a little bit of cheese. I'll buy the two cheese they have. I'll buy all the grapes. All eight of them. I'll buy the olives and the beer and the date fruit. And that gives us a plus seven food variety. So that takes us up to 94. All right. And this tournament, what's it all about? Helmet with face guard. Now, I have no idea... I'm going to guess that's a 26 to a 28 range, but that's just a guess on my part based on the name. But let's check and see. 26 to 28. If it if it's better, it's good. It's not going to be better when I'm wearing, though. It's 25. Ah, I missed it by one. Uh, no, I'm going to leave. If Corinne wins it, fine. If she doesn't, that's fine also. Did she win? Yep, she won it. That's my girl. Let me sell it while we're here then and be on our way we've got to get those I think it's about 14 more troops we need see we took Joguri's castle but it's not going to last of course to be fair I said that about Rote didn't I and I still have Rote <clears throat> let's see who the owner's going to be I'm not I don't want to be it and I'm not going to mm, let's see is it four and I have no idea See, it's ridiculous that I'm in this kingdom, and yet I have no information whatsoever about this guy. A fellow noble. I'm just going to abstain, because I, I, I'm, if I vote for him, it's possible my standing with him will go into the negative, and I don't want that to happen, so I, I'm just not going to vote at all. It's just dumb the way they've changed the encyclopedia to not have any information whatsoever. And I think in a previous video I showed how stupid it is where I can go into a thief when you look at uh, settlements and towns and you sort by prosperity. You can see right now, because I'm Sturgeon, I can see what the prosperity of Sturgeon towns. But I could go into Akalat and I would see it. And then 30 seconds after leaving Akalat, it wouldn't show up again. And that's just stupid in my opinion. It really is. I don't want that archer. All right. This tops us off. So we can immediately head back south again and get into it. Look at that. Amprella's already being sieged again by the Kuzates. It has to be the Kuzates because I can't imagine that the Valandians are this far over here. But we'll see when we go by. There's Monchug. Looks like he's replenishing his forces or waiting for the rest of his army to come over. Yep, it is the Kuzates. 812th. All right, let's head back down. Keep traveling south to see where Ragnvad is going. It's always a chance we can pick up stragglers. I think we'll make it. Oh, he's all right. This is good. I like this. Oh, 582. This is going to be interesting because there's there's 579 defenders. So his party of 580 and the defenders of 579. If he attacks them, they all will they will all fight against this guy. So we'll jump in. It's questionable who will win that battle, but I'm going to hang around and find. Oh, now I know who's going to win that battle. There's no doubt in my mind that these guys we're going to lose this. Because this is 1,850, all three parties combined. And that's double what we have. So again, as I said, I don't mind jumping in on battles that look like they're going to be, they could be a losing cause, but this is an absolute loss. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And another 100. So I'm going to be, wait a minute, let's see if he, if he runs away and they attack, I will still jump in because that 8 and this 5 is only 12. And I'll make a thousand. That'll be the only difference of two hundred. Look, they're scared to jump in. They're going to siege that castle. Oh, wait a minute! I got an opportunity here. I think I can get Abel. Ab, Ab, I don't know how to say that. Abelitos's army. The thing is, they're running from Ragnvad. 
Can I come around here? Maybe come around behind and jump this guy. His speed is 4.7. Mine is 5.5. Okay. We're going to find out in the next video if I can jump this fella. Or to be fair, this person. I don't know if it's male or female. We'll find out in the next video. Ciao.